All right, guys, so it's a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. We finally have a nice little patch of weather. The south winds are not honking. Um, I'm gonna go buy some blue crabs right now. Sea View Crab Company. Um, I've been targeting Cobia to no avail. Um, there's a lot of them north of me, but I have not seen any over here. So we're gonna go get these blue crabs. Um, and we're basically just gonna fish them on jig heads, kind of like the last video. Uh, but this time we're gonna cut them up into pieces. Up north where I came from, we called this togging, or fishing for blackfish. Uh, but basically all that is in a nutshell is just throwing a piece of crab on a jig head and fishing near structure. It's exactly what we're gonna do today. So our target doing this, I'm thinking in my head we're gonna get sheephead and triggerfish. We're gonna fish a couple of local rocks, drop those crabs down on the rocks, see what we catch um, and we're gonna do a catch and cook we'll keep something for dinner well we're not giving up on that cobia stuff uh, i have to learn it um like outer banks has them chesapeake bay has them doesn't seem like i have them over here in any numbers i might have missed their migration or maybe i'm just not really understanding their migration that's okay it's part of the game of learning all right let me go uh get my crabs and then uh so we'll catch up when we're on the water and see what we do i made it to our rocks See, I'm sure this is going to be a trash fish extravaganza, but we start somewhere. Right. I'm going to go with small pieces of crab to start because crabs are expensive. I haven't been getting my own yet, so I don't know. Uh, here we go. Chunk of blue crab, let's see. Toadfish, I know what that is. Spirit animal. Toad. Most abundant fish in North Carolina, the toadfish. Sea bass. Hey, there he is. Sea biscuit. I think the legal size here is 12. Just kind of curious. 11 inches. Good. So I found a, to I found a toadfish and a sea bass. Maybe there is. They're all trigger fish is what I love. Oh, lost them. Come on, in there, redfish. Nice one. Definitely a slot. Just get myself out of these rocks. bad one. It's not a bad red fish at all. It's a nice red. Yeah. Let's see. Pick out the measuring board there. I gut hooked him so I'm keeping him. Yeah, that's a 25 incher. Alright, we're in the slot limit. Yeah, I got them in there. I think it makes more sense for me to harvest them. Oh, that's a pretty fish, very silvery and beautiful. Never eaten a redfish before, so this is gonna be the first one. Look at that beautiful tail. All right, back into the groove here. Damn, what is he going? No, stay out of there. Stay out of there. No, 
stay out of there. You're going to F me up. Oh, God. I hope this ain't like some stupid ass shark. That's what I'm afraid of. This. Pretty red. Stratic three thousand. Look at that one. That's a pretty, pretty red fish. This one gets to go back. These are tough fish, man. Don't ever underestimate the redfish. Look at all those spots. Look at that. Oh, on the bottom sweeper jig. Oh, that bottom sweeper jig, man. Look at that. So many wonderful and beautiful spots. Look at that. Beautiful, really amazing fish. Pride of the South right here. That definitely is. Oh yeah. You. Hey, hey, you. I'm real good at these guys. Codes are the worst. These things are so bad here, man. Ah, how many more of these? Oh, he's puking up shit too. Oh, I know I got clickbait for later in the year. You can catch all you want. Maybe in the later point in time. Not today, not today. Too early in the trip. Hmm. Well, we could have got out front this morning, but this is the radar now. So, uh, yeah, we had an opportunity to fish the ocean, but no dice. Uh, I hate losing those opportunities. We didn't know. Anyway, uh, we're going to blacken that redfish. I'm going to try a little piece just as is with a little bit of salt just to, to pan fry it and give it a taste. All right, let's get started here. Redfish, tough skin fish, so... Mm, there's your redfish fillet. That looks exactly like the black drum, honestly. Very, very clean fillets off these fish. These bones are tough. The scales are tough. They can withstand uh, working the knife a little aggressively. All right, we're going to start pre prepping this real soon. What does this fillet look like? Oh, this really looks like striper. Uh, if you ever filleted striped bass, this looks identical. I mean, it's got a little bit more dark meat, I think, on it. Uh, we're going to cut a lot of that out. But um, other than that, you know, with this bloodline here. But um, other than that, it does look identical. The striper has no smell to it. Um, I wonder if there's a difference in the taste between the red and the black drum. We'll find out in a sec, though. Just a little bit of salt on there. That's all we got. Um, just want to see what this fish tastes like, huh? Very basic. No frills, no nothing. Let me see what redfish actually tastes like, and it's... It's real state. It's got a lot of flavor to it. The shrimp, you can taste almost like a shrimp or crab type flavor. Um, a little bit fishy actually. It does have a little bit of a, that fishier bite to it. I would say that's pretty close to striped bass. A little less watery than striper. Striper's kind of watery. This is a little more firm. They're like I know, remember when I used to put a fork into a striped bass, you get like a lot of that, that the water would come out of it after cooking. But uh, let's get those seasonings on it and see how it comes out like that. I love black drum, so, um, I, but I've never tried black drum in a, kind of a plain state like this. So uh, this definitely does remind me of a fish you could kind of do anything to, like a uh, toe tug, 
sheep's head, something like that. So, all right, let's try it like this. Now, oh, I'm also gonna serve this with a fresh guacamole. Uh, and I'm gonna probably make some sort of simple side salad. But, uh, Mario, I'm using your jalapenos. These things were awesome. I appreciate it. But anyway, uh, let's get cooking and, uh, take it from there. Alright, so here's the deal. I could not find Redfish Magic. That is the famous blackening seasoning. This is the best I found here. Um, shame on me for not planning ahead of time. But, um, I just checked out the ingredients. Everything seemed pretty, uh, pretty straightforward here. So, uh, hopefully this is gonna cut the cake. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna coat this redfish. It's room temperature. You don't want it to be cold because then the, the butter re-solidifies re and um, doesn't, doesn't stick as well. You want everything to be about the same temperature so this way the butter will stick and the, the seasoning I'm gonna put on there is gonna stick. Um, it is raining outside today, um, so we're not heading outside. Um, you can, we're gonna put this on a cast iron and that's what's gonna basically get that blackened finish. And we're gonna create a lot of smoke. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, we shut off the smoke detectors for this reason. But uh, now we're gonna add the seasoning and then we're gonna put it on the cast iron. And you're probably gonna wanna go with a generous amount. If some of it falls off, uh, you can put more on there. But you basically wanna cover the fish. All right, now we just wait for our pan to heat up and then this is gonna go on there. Yeah, I think that's the desired result you want there. Um, you want it to be smoking. Um, that's exactly what it is. That's that butter burning and caramelizing the outside of the fish right now. All right, that was that took about two minutes per side. We just yanked that off. Um, looks looks real good. Yeah, just be warned, it's raining out, so uh, creates a lot of smoke in the house. But uh, your end result's worth it, man. All right, that's our end result here. I made like a basic orzo salad earlier in the week. Uh, it's just got um, parsley in it, a little bit of cilantro, lemon juice, olive oil, nothing going on, nothing fancy there. Guacamole, some chips, and that's our blackened redfish. Let's give it a try. It's my first time trying having blackened redfish. We've got all the other ingredients to make a nice little meal. Let's, let's taste it. Ranting, lots of ranting. So the gas side gets like this little nice crispiness to it. Um, yeah, and here we go. delicious. There's a reason it's so popular and well liked. It is absolutely delicious at the end of the day. The simplicity of this preparation is amazing. Um, it's very easy to do. It's flavorful. I really don't I really don't know what else to say about it but you know I've had it with tog or toe tog. Um, I did it with black drum. It came out great with black drum. There's certain fish it works really well with, and there's other fish that are a little too, I would say a little too delicate for this type of preparation. Redfish, black drum, toe tug, these are the types of fish you can do this with. But anyway, um, this preparation was one of the reasons uh, drum apparently were very overfished at one point. Uh, I believe in the 1980s or something like that. I'm sure somebody with a little more knowledge of this fish than me, you know, unlike other YouTubers, I'll tell you if I don't have knowledge of something. I don't have much knowledge of the history of Red Drum. or a whole lot of knowledge on Red Drum in general. Um, I do like catching them. I've caught maybe a dozen in my life um, at this point. A little over a dozen, possibly. Uh, but um, I know there's a very complicated history with this fish, and it had to do with um, this particular preparation. Kind of put it over the top and put it on the spectrum of being a you know, a prized fish. It's almost like taking a bite out of history, right? Um, so anyway, after all the rambling and seconds on the drum, uh, I hope you liked the video. Um, I love this fish. I like fishing for the large ones. They're a lot of fun to catch and release. The smaller ones make great table fare. This is all around probably one of my favorite fish. Uh, not to eat, just in general, like it's one of my favorite fish. Uh, I respect it a lot and truly enjoy fishing for them. And they are beautiful and, and they have their own place in every saltwater angler's heart for sure. So Drum, uh, you're an A plus in my list. So And uh, plenty more fishing to come. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you later.